After a domestic season and summer tournaments, there is still more international football to be played with the upcoming Olympic Games. So who will take home glory and gold in the men's and women's competitions at Paris 2024? Hello and welcome to Football Now. Last week we looked at the technical aspects of Olympic football. Now it's time to take a deep dive into the teams. 16 nations are bringing their best under 23 squads and the men's tournament has a history of throwing up some surprise winners. Brazil were victorious in previous editions in Rio de Janeiro and Tokyo, but they actually haven't qualified this time around, meaning we're guaranteed a new gold medal winner at Paris 2024. Let's take a look at some of the main contenders from the men's side of the draw. France will be looking to become just the fifth host nation to win Olympic gold on home soil. And with plenty of familiar faces, not just in the squad, but on the touchline too, they are certainly among the favourites to do so. Can they overcome the USA, Guinea and New Zealand on their journey to become the first European side to claim gold in the event since Spain in 1992? That is the big hurdle for the French to overcome. They have an outstanding squad. They have a very promising coach in Thierry Henry. He's taken Belgium in an assistant role to new heights. And when you look at the depth of this France under 23 squad, you have the overage players, Mateta and Lacazette, Castello, Lukeba. The question for Thierry Henry is, can he mold them together into a team that is successful because four years ago, it wasn't successful. They finished 13th out of 16. Talent is not a problem. Getting them to focus on the goal of Olympic gold, that may be his biggest challenge. Morocco qualified for the tournament by winning the under-23 African Cup of Nations over one year ago. They face Iraq, Ukraine and the always formidable Argentina in Group B. In Group C, Spain are the only returning medalists from Tokyo 2020 at this tournament. It's a first time at the Olympics for surprise package Uzbekistan, who secured qualification as runners-up at the recent under-23 Asian Cup in Qatar. The winners of that tournament, Japan, go into Paris 2024 as genuine contenders and will look to become the first Asian team to take home the men's football gold medal in Olympic history. Yeah, I think Japan will be flying the flag. I mean, they were semi-finalists as well not too long ago in Olympic competition. I don't see why they can't go one step further than they have in the recent past and make that gold medal match, at least. Who knows what can happen in a single game. Uzbekistan, I think, is the most interesting. We saw that at the Under-23 Asian Cup, which served as qualifiers for the Olympics. There are big countries absent from this. We spoke about the fact there's no Brazil, there's also no Germany, but it's open. Why couldn't an Asian side make that final step up to the gold medal match? I think it would be fantastic for the, for the game and perhaps even get their hands on the top prize. On to the women's side of the draw now, where there are only three groups compared to four on the men's side. However, the rules are much simpler. There are no age restrictions on the players, meaning the squads that we will see in Paris are full strength, with nations treating it as a de facto World Cup. Let's take a look at how the women's draw is shaping up. In Group A, the host nation is paired with Colombia and New Zealand, as well as defending gold medalist Canada who are looking to become the first team since the United States at London 2012 to win the gold back to back. Yeah, there are a number of really interesting uh, narratives coming into the 2024 Olympics in Paris. Canada, the reigning champions from Tokyo back in 2020, is a really big one. Whether they can do it again is a pretty big question, especially when they're surrounded by such incredible other teams and, and immense talents. You now you've got your World Cup champions, Spain, who are probably the strongest women's national team going around at the moment. They are continuing to dominate at the international level and I think will want to marry their World Cup title with an Olympic gold medal. But at the same time, you've got a couple of other nations who are really wanting to prove themselves, including Germany, who have won a gold medal in the past, and Japan, who reached the final in 2012, but were just pipped by the USA. Speaking of the US women's team, they face a tough draw, facing fellow medal contenders Australia and Germany. Zambia also complete Group B. The tournament is rounded out by women's football powerhouses in world champion Spain, in a group with Brazil, Japan, and 2023 World Cup surprise package, Nigeria. The women's competition has historically been the domain of the United States, 
who, with four gold medals, are the only multiple-time winners at this tournament. But after only taking home bronze in Tokyo, is their era of domination coming to an end? The USA, which is potentially the biggest threat to all of these other teams at the moment. They are resurgent under their new head coach, Emma Hayes. And of course, they're four times gold medalists at the Olympics as well. So they know exactly what to do and how to get it done, how to get all the way to the top. There are a number of really interesting stories and interesting teams coming into this 12 team tournament. And all of them are in really tricky groups because when you've only got 12 teams, every group is basically a group of death. It promises to be an exciting tournament on both the men's and women's side of the draw. That's all we have time for from our studio here in Doha. Have your say on who you think will win gold in Paris using the hashtag FootballNowOlympics. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.